Gareth, you spoke before the game of a professional performance, a uh, 4-0 win, that's probably what you got. Yeah, I think so. Um, I've played in games like this before and um, all you can do is win the game and um, get in the shower and, and go home with the job done. Um, you won't get credit for it, nobody will probably remember it, but it could have been a banana skin if our approach hadn't been right. And from the start, I thought our attitude was excellent and um, we, we could have won by more. Um, but we could also have lost our discipline and had people yellow carded and sent off. So um, it, I was pleased with that aspect of it. Yeah, the first goal came after five minutes, which must be very pleasing because sometimes these games can turn into a bit of a, a war of attrition at times. Yeah, and, and we had to wait till right on half time for the second. Um, it might have been a penalty, might not have been, and, and obviously the sending off then, you, you, you've really got the game won. Um, so we, there were just little details that we felt we could do better. We felt that in possession we could make the pitch a bit wider um, to exploit the space that was there. Um, we were offside too many times and um, you know we just had to make sure that it was a concentration game for our defenders. Um, but don't give the referee an opportunity to book you or send you off. And, and you know, at times we had to say, don't even make tackles in certain areas of the field when you're running back to give it, give that opportunity. And, and I thought the players carried that out really well. If anything, the, the sending off of their goalkeeper almost didn't help us because it, it just forced them back even further and there was more and more blue shirts in the, the box when we were trying to attack. Yeah, they actually started a game by pressing us quite high up the field, which we hadn't seen them do. So that left space in behind, which we, we just didn't quite time our runs. And we were a little, little bit um, too quick to go forward at times um, and, and found ourselves in offside positions. But there were some good quality moments and there were a couple of really good saves from the goalkeeper. Um, so we've created plenty. We're, we're having to work really hard for our goals at the moment. Yeah, you are some more cutting edge after the Finland game. We got that tonight. Uh, great hat-trick for, for Harry. Yes, I mean, pleased for him because um, no matter what the level and, and no matter who the opposition is, to a hat-trick at international, uh, in international football is something to remember. So a, a, a really pleasing night for him. Now it's, it's back home to, to England and Lithuania in five days. Um, like you said before, I think this game's quickly put to the back of, of the mind and, and focus on the next one. Yeah, very much so. You know, that's... Job's done here, um, but all our focus goes to, to Lithuania now. Um, I think the game on Tuesday and the, the, the game after that with Finland will, will determine the group. So um, we've, we've got to make sure that um, we're, we're continuing to, to crank it up and, and uh, keep improving with each performance. Probably be nice to be playing in front of a big crowd as well. Yeah, uh, again, that's a, that's a challenge because lots of our players are playing in front of um, big crowds with their clubs and passionate crowds so again that's an aspect of tonight that they have to deal with and, um, and they did it well.